Shallow vibes, shallow vibes, shallow vibes. What's up, good people? It's your neighborhood Hebrew. We're back again um, for another script talk. We got to give all praises due to the Most High. Ahai, Yahweh, Baha, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. All right, the Shai. All right. Uh, through the spirit of the Ruach, all right. Uh, Shem, Ruach, HaKadesh. All right, the Holy Spirit. Um, as y'all know, you know, as as explained and depicted, you know, and commanded by the Most High and His Son, our Messiah, the Hebrews are to teach and baptize all nations, right? Because the Most High gave us the covenants, the laws, the commandments, the statutes, so that we must follow them. And in turn, in us following them, we must teach every and anybody that is around us, okay? Um, and a lot of us really have a hard time breaking free from Babylon, breaking free from, and I'm sorry if I'm a little low, y'all, because the fan on is hot. Y'all didn't know what to do. Um, but we have a problem with breaking free from the things that we know, okay? Things that we grew up knowing, that we were taught knowing. Um, we have a problem with once we are brought the truth, now we don't know how to break free from that. So that's why today's topic is uh, having humility, being humble, right? Because whenever you talk to somebody about being humble, about uh, humbling yourself, being grounded, um, they take that only for how they want to um, perceive what you're saying or or like the way like somebody will say something and then you'll tell them where the truth is and then they'll say, oh, well, it doesn't mean that to me. Okay, well, when you going to humble yourself to get this new information and let that sit in? Okay, because we all have a dictionary. We all know what words mean. So when somebody is acting, let's say, in pride or being proud. Oh, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my children. I'm proud of, you know, I'm, 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 I'm proud. I'm proud. All the, all, all the accomplishments I've done, all, all the, um, the love I have from, from people, I'm proud of them, right? Scriptures tell us that the Most High, you feel me? He resisted the proud. A, a proud, prideful look is what the Most High hates, says in Proverbs and also in James, all right? But yet and still, when you tell people and they either read the Bible or know of the Bible, say that they believe in the Bible and believe in the Most High's words, they do not, they do not take it for what it says. Oh, I feel like that's just only saying like if you're doing it negatively. No, he said proud. What do we know what proud means? It needs to be overly exceeding and boastful about yourself. So if you're proud at any moment for anything, if you have pride for any moment or anything, the glory is now being taken away from the Most High. That's the bottom line of why the Most High says this. You're being pr proud. No, you should only be proud in me. Boast in me. That's the only thing. But we have a problem with being humble and showing and having humility. Okay? So that's what we're talking about. Just hey, I give y'all a little quick insert because, you know, I was... Uh, you know, we deal with people like this all the time. And it's okay, you know what I'm saying? Because we all still learning. As long as we all still learning, we all can grow. Um, so it's no strife. It's no, no, um, no, uh, no beef. You know what I'm saying? It's just a misunderstanding. But we have to humble ourselves down to what the Most High is saying. So, with that being said, let's get the, uh, the definition for uh, humility and humbleness, right? Modest or low view of one's own appearance, humbleness. So, modest, okay, or low view of one's 
uh, own importance, meaning your achievements. Humble yourself down. Yeah, we understand it was a hard thing that you did. We, we, we understand that you're proud of what your children did when they graduated. We, we understand that you're proud and all this, but have a low view of how you feel, your pride being proud, right? Of the way you feel about that, of your importance on that. So that's humbleness, right? So now let's go to uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 17. The Most High, though thou hast uh, heard the desire of the humble, thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause thine ear to hear. Okay? So those that are humble, right? Those that are humble, the Most High hears. Okay? And will prepare their heart. Our hearts will be changed because we are humble enough to uh, kneel before the Most High and not put our pride on high, okay? We are taking our pride out, being a humble to a low estate to understand to be changed, all right? Because your heart is going to be changed. Thou will cause thine ear to hear. Now, you being humble is going to allow the spirit, okay, to move in you because those that have an ear, let them hear. He that have an ear, let him hear. She that have an ear, let him hear. Right? So you need to humble yourself down. Okay? If it's good fruit, why are we fighting up against it? Why are we... When y'all having a conversation and all of a sudden you get told that you are incorrect and it's being shown through the scriptures, why we get all up in the... Ah, ah, why? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Well, you know what I'm saying? I know where this going to go. I know where this going to go. Okay? Okay, we understand that. I know I understand it. I get it. I get what you're saying. I'm proud of this. I'm proud of that. But do you understand that what the Most High is saying? Because are, are His ways, His thoughts, not higher than yours? So what you thinking about how you saying what you saying, that don't matter to the Most High. He's telling you, I resist this the proud. He told us that pride come before destruction. Humble yourself. All right? Humble yourself. I don't care who you are. Let's go for my mama. Let's go for my children. Let's go for myself. Let's go for my rib. Let's go for uh, my best friend, all my brothers, all my sisters, all y'all. Go for all of us. Humble yourselves. All right? Make sure that we stand on top of that. You know what I mean? Make sure that we stand cognizant of that. All right? Now we're going to go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 4. Let me get there. Book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 4. By humility and the fear of the Most High are riches and honor and life. Okay? With humbleness, okay? Humbleness and fear of the Most High are power. Okay? We gain what? We gain riches. What's those riches? Those are the blessings. That's why the righteous have hope and death, right? Because we get the riches of the kingdom. That's what's coming for us, okay? Uh, it says, by humility and the fear of the Most High are riches. What are those riches? That's the kingdom, okay? Because the kingdom resides in you, okay? So that's why you got to keep the temple clean. That's why you got to humble yourself down when you are being corrected. All right? You can't be above correction. All right? Uh, then it says, and honor. Okay? That honor is the honor amongst the just. The honor that the respect, the most high respects when you are now humbling yourself. He don't respect nothing else. When you humble yourself to his will, that's the only time he giving you respect. That's the only time he giving you respect. He not respecting you for for uh, uh, honoring and, and humbling down to yourself. No, he needs you to humble down to him above all, okay? And life, okay? Now that life is, life is the righteousness, okay? Is, that's the, that's the spirit moving through you. You get life, okay? Eternal life 
into the kingdom, okay? So the riches are of the kingdom, okay? And then honor is amongst the just, which is amongst him. He is just, okay? We are just when we walk humbly, okay? And life in the righteousness in the kingdom, okay? You begin to, uh, you are gifted with eternal life, okay? That's what you are gifted with when you what? Humble down. When you fear the most high, which is keeping his commandments. Okay? Now let's go over to the book of Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and 24. All right? Thus saith the Lord, the most high. Thus saith what he saith right here, okay? Thus saith the Lord. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the most high his power, which exercise loving kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. The most high is saying this directly, okay? The wise uh, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. So, your accomplishments, you know what I'm saying, what you did at school, work, you know what I'm saying, for the house, uh, what you did throughout your day. He says, the wise, uh, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. So, let's not be proud in our accomplishments, in what we have done. It's because the Most High has made that happen for you. You didn't do that because it was too hard, right? So wh wh where did it come from? It came from the Most High. Huh? Let not, uh, neither let the mighty man glory in his in his might. So now, no matter how strong you feel you are, no matter, uh, and that's physical and spiritual. No matter how strong you feel you are, how mighty you feel you are, how well versed you feel you are, let not, okay, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. You can't bask in your own glory. Is what the Most High is telling you. Mind you, he said, thus saith the Lord, okay? Let not the rich man glory in his riches, okay? We already know what that is. You got money? Cool. Use it for something good. Do not glory in the riches. That's the love of money. It's the root of all evil because the riches become your God, okay? Uh, but let him that glorieth glory uh, in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Okay, that's what we supposed to be glorifying. That's what we supposed to be proud in. Okay, that's what we got to humble ourselves down to. Okay, to get away from our own pride, our own selfishness, our selfishness, selfishness. Okay, because that's what it truly is. All right, that I am the Most High, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. Okay, for in these things I delight, saith the Most High. He delights in these things, okay? He delights when you glorify in the understanding of knowing him and what he said to do, okay? In his truth, all right? In his kindness, in his judgment, in his righteousness. That's what he wants you to focus on, not all your accomplishments, not what you pride, proud and being prideful about. Humble yourself, okay? Having humility and being humble. All right, you need to be humble. You need to have some humility. Bow down because when something happens to you in your life, now you humiliate, right? Because now you are wrong. You have got caught. You were hurt. Something happened. Now you are humiliated because that's humbling you down. You need to come down. All right. Now we're gonna go to the book of Matthew. Book of Matthew, chapter eighteen. Uh huh. Chapter 18, verses 2 through 4. And Hamashiach, right, our Messiah, called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of, the, uh, of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as the little child, 
the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. We're gonna cut right back through this, right? Because I had a couple uh had a conversation just the other day about these certain things, okay? And the Messiah called, okay, a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. He said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted. I'm gonna stop right there. Now I had a conversation uh on Facebook uh with somebody uh uh I think it was, no 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 it was a relative and she said that we not supposed to be converting and training and uh and uh pretty much in judging you know what I'm saying now I told her I said well she said she said that's not in the word this just came out of the Messiah's mouth he said except ye be converted so we must convert those who don't believe right now that don't that that don't mean punch you in the mouth with it no that mean give you the scriptures give you the good fruit he that hear she that hear let him hear that's your spirit if your spirit bear witness to it that's it humble yourself down that's what this is talking about okay that's exactly what this is talking about and become as little children ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven so if we cannot humble ourselves down to the state of a child no matter how old you are, no matter who you are, okay, you will not be able to see the kingdom. You won't be able to see the kingdom. Why? Because you, you too proud. You too busty about your knowledge, about what you got, about what you learned, about what you think you know, okay, about what you think you know. Because scriptures say, uh, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but, uh, he that pretty much thinketh that he know something, that he know everything, that he know much things, knows nothing. You don't know nothing. Okay? That goes for him and her. That goes for mankind. Period. You think you know something, you know nothing. Okay? So we go to the scriptures to get to understanding. This is what we know. This is what the precept I just brought out. The most high delight us getting understanding of what he wants us to know. Over what we know. Okay? So... Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as the little as this little child. Now it says it plainly. Now a lot of people that are in Christianity, in uh, being Catholic, uh, 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 any other religions or whatever it is, because we don't deal with religion. This here is our culture, and this is how we able to break it down to you like this. This precept hope on precept. That's how you gain understanding. You feel me? Because if we don't know, how will we learn? We need to get precept upon precept. All right? So that's why we do it. Like this. All right? Now, whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now, if you humbling yourself down, you will be as equal as the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So having humility, being humble. I'm going to keep saying it because that's the lesson. Right? Now, we're going to still stay in Matthew. Go to uh, 23 and 12. 23 and 12. Okay. Well, matter of fact, we'll get a uh, we'll get eleven. We'll get eleven. Twenty three. Matthew chapter twenty three, eleven and twelve. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he shall he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Okay. Now, whoever is holding themselves on high regard. Okay. Holding themselves on high high regard because you exalted yourself. You don't put yourself up here. You got pride. You got a big ego. You are proud of yourself. That's exhaustion because you're proud, right? You're proud. You exalted yourself, okay? Shall be abased, okay? Shall be made small, okay? So you're thinking you all big, but you're going to be made small putting yourself on this pedestal okay uh let me see it's like it and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted so he that shall make himself like the child as the child the understanding of the child so that way you can start and, and, and start to learn because what what do children do they learn from their parents parents have to teach them so you train up a child in the way that they should go so when that they are old, they will never depart. Okay? You gotta train them up. So if we humble ourselves down as children, now we can be trained. 
But if we think that, oh man, I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass woman. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me nothing. Okay, you can't humble yourself. So now you can't be taught, which is training. Again, that's what my cousin was talking about. We shouldn't be training people. We shouldn't be converting people. Scriptures say otherwise. Scriptures say otherwise. Not me, that say it the most high. So you got a problem with what I'm saying? Okay, it's not me. You got a problem with the most high. Point blank period. Okay? So, and he shall humble himself, shall be exalted. I just say that again. Humble, the person that humbles themselves will be exalted, will be put on high, okay, from the most high, not from yourself, not from your peers, on high, okay? If somebody chooses to celebrate you or celebrate something for you, let them do that. That's what they want to do. You're not supposed to be doing that for yourself, okay? Put nothing before the most high, all right? Now we're going to go to First Peter. We just got two left. I just had to give y'all a little dialogue because this is how the spirit moved. That's why it was a long one uh, in the beginning. Um, but you know, we're we getting through it. This is uh, the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 6. Okay? And I'll get 72. Just because it's, it's, it's so fitting. All right? Uh, 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, unto the mighty hand of God. Our power, your power, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Listen. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Ahia, the power, your power, the one who controls everything, who created everything. So when 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 you are corrected with the scripture. Stop trying to run away and dance just because you loving your sinning. A lustful thing, a prideful thing that's 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 gonna bring destruction, that's sin. Okay, that's transgression against the law. Okay? Cause you you can't humble yourself down. Cause you'd rather keep doing what you doing and how you think it towards the most high. But it's saying right here, humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of the most high. Okay? That he may exalt you in due time. Humble yourself under the his will. Right? Under the his will. Now let's say your understanding of what the scriptures say about pride and about lust. Okay? Let's say it. Oh yeah, but that's only if in, in, in a negative way. Okay, cool. Cool. But now, just to be safe. When the scriptures say pride before destruction. That the most high resist is pride. That lust will bring you to sin why would you not take that into account too and just say you know what I understand I'm not going to do it negatively and I'm not going to do it this way either that the most high says it just to make sure I'm good just to make sure that's humbling yourself I'm just saying though. I'm just saying alright or the most high just saying so like, <laughs> I'm just the messenger alright Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. So now if we caring for the most high, and we casting all our care upon him so he can care for us, right? Why would you not listen to him? Why would you take your own understanding versus what he's actually saying? Okay? That's all I'm saying. Good plan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, now we're going to go back to the book of Proverbs because it's the last one. Book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. Okay? When pride cometh, okay? When you are puffed up about whatever it is, no matter what level of you being puffed up, we ain't talking about just arrogance is puffed up. Like I said, you pride. Uh, or you proud, being proud about something. That's puffed up. You're getting puffed up. Something is puffed up in you that is not the most high. But then you, what you say, you, you're going to try to find a loophole, right? You're going to try to find a loophole that justifies you feeling this way. Okay? But what does the scripture say? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. 
So now your pride is going to lead you to a place to where now you're dwelling in your, in, in your loophole, right? And then boom, something happened. Now you're feeling humiliated. Now you're feeling shameful, right? You walk in that walk of shame, okay? But with the lowly, lowly, get the definition on lowly for me. Just one second. I'm just waiting on you. Because when you pull up the definition of lowly is to be humble, okay? The humble. But with the humble, it's wisdom. So with the humble comes wisdom. To be wise. When you humble yourself down, you are actually able to open up to wisdom. That's why I say the only way to listen is to be quiet. You cannot talk and listen. How can you hear? Because being humble is shutting your mouth listening to the whole conclusion of the matter okay so with that i hope i uh made some things clear i hope that the seeds were set um with y'all and whoever you know that has an ear to hear you know this ain't about bashing this ain't about beating people up this ain't you know with scripture with what the most high said being puffed up no but i am According to the Most High, I'm allowed to talk with authority and be puffed up about Him. Okay? Stop being puffed up about yourself. Get puffed up about Him. Okay? And when it comes to you and you find yourself in a situation where you're talking about Scripture, where you're just talking in life, because everything in life we're supposed to be doing according to His will. Okay? So, humble yourself down and don't let that pride take you down that walk of shame don't let pride bring you towards destruction it's not worth it it's not worth it you know what I'm talking about it, it's, it's not worth okay you being proud and having pride is not worth you not seeing the kingdom right you think that's worth it do you think it's worth it for you not to humble yourself down to truth not just any old thing anybody else is saying out here. The truth. Because now if we saying that we believe in, in the Most High in His words, why not listen to Him? Okay? Why not listen? To, why not humble yourself down and get what He's saying? You know what I mean? But everybody will take His words and say, oh, well, you know, all we got to do is love one another and love Him. That's it, man. We good. You know what I'm saying? Pray over whatever foods you want to eat. Do whatever. Yeah, that's all pride. That's all pride. Because you're doing what you want to do rather than what the scriptures actually say. So with that, I give all praises to the Most High. Ahai, Yahweh, Baha'i, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. All right? Shai, the Messiah. All right? Through the Ruach. Baha'i, Shem, Ruach, HaKadosh. All right? The Holy Spirit. May it guide y'all to have, to just jump in the scriptures and, 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 and just go read them for yourself. Uh, read these scriptures that I got posted for yourself. Um, or read along with me. That way you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And pause the video. Pause the video when you don't know the definition of words. Pause the video. And go look up the word that's in the scripture. Go look it up. Just go look at it. If you don't know, it's okay. Humble yourself down. Go figure out what that word means. Then you can grab some understanding. All right? And I hope y'all have a blessing. The rock of thought to you. It's your neighborhood Hebrew with that script talk. All right? Give you that truth talk. All right? Once again, Shalom. 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 Y'all have a good one.